Well, today our group, it's kind of a busy day for our group. We have uh, Kristen who's editing her interviews that she's done. And our other three members are uh, working on our Heritage Minutes that we're producing. So since we're the history group, we decided to do Heritage Minutes. Definitely a sense um, among the citizen scientists that we've talked to that they're not being taken seriously at times by the, the general scientific community uh, just because they don't necessarily have the, the qualifications that a professional scientist does and obviously when you're, when you're a citizen journalist you're facing a lot of the same, the same problems. So. Um, oh, it's been really interesting. Actually the Google Hangout was amazing. That was really amazing um, because we had somebody who had Ivel here and then we did have somebody in Vancouver and then we were also speaking to somebody um, from Greenpeace in Lebanon. So to have like people just kind of spread across the world was really interesting. Um, it sort of looks like we're going to talk about how citizen science can grow in the future. I think part of that is its ability to grow in multiple fields of science. Um, for instance, at the moment, citizen science is pretty well established in fields like astrophysics. And so how can it grow in fields of you know, biology and archaeology and things like that? Well, our story is, I guess, going to be unique in some ways because it is the basic. So we really are sort of having to build from the bottom up, but not too far up because we don't want to overlap with other people's um, content. So what we're sort of going to be looking at is what it is and what it's not and how people can get involved and then profiling a few specific projects and sort of using that as examples of how not all citizen science projects are the same. Uh, no, we're, we're starting to try and formulate where we're going to take this project. It's interesting because obviously we want to make this uh, very understandable and digestible for our readers, uh, much, like, much like the problem that citizen scientists deal with in terms of uh, making big data raw and accessible. We're trying to do that for them. So it's a very abstract concept, and we're just trying to figure out how we're going to relate that to people and make it, uh, make it interesting for them. Not science is never for sure. It's always being retested and retested and retested. So citizen science is sort of just a part of that process. And another, another cool angle I think that Paul and Green brought up yesterday is the democratization of science, which I think could be another you know, point we could bring up, is that it's allowing everyday people to take part in scientific research and you know, opening the field to everyone. So.